professional. But we gotta move fast. Like, they wanna sit down and have a meeting with you. Relationships don't really do it for me. What does? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Today I'm super, super mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys. I actually been waiting to do this video for a while but I've been waiting for the season to end so that I can do one video only and actually also because one of the reasons is because this couple didn't get a lot of camera time so I, I had to wait until the end of the season to actually do this video so let's not waste any more time and let me do the big reveal on who the story is gonna be about the story is gonna be about Carmen and Natty you can watch them on the promised land uh, it's actually a new show that they got released on January 2022 it has 10 episodes available so you have, if you are interested I would definitely recommend you to go watch and if you want to know more details about the couple I will definitely be giving you like the all essential, uh, essential points of regarding their whole relationship during the season and it's actually a very good show i really liked it so you know i'm just going to be giving my point of view and before we start this video i just wanted to say thank you so much for everybody who comments who likes who share and who subscribes to my channel i really do appreciate it i really 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 do and let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video it ended up in a year-long dead end but usually Pepper? Kitana is amazing for a sangria. Kitana isn't the problem. Us was snubbed on a Latinx tastemakers list. Literally no mention. What? <laughs> How obvious is it that the only thing? That's a lot of money. to meet you. You got a better idea? As a matter of fact. <laughs> what? You knew. Puro Latino. It's got everything to do with you. Basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah. I used to play a. So basically, the show is called The Promised Land. It was released in 2022. It's available on Hulu. It has 10 episodes. So, just a small resume about it. Uh, the show is about a very successful Latino family that runs a winery. It's one of the best wines in the in the in the country, and you know the the kids, the younger generation, are trying to take over power from their father because they feel like their father needs to step down and let them handle the, the business and continue the family, the, you know, the family business. But that's not my what my main focus is about. My main focus is to talk about Carmen and Natty. So what happens? Carmen is like the baby of the of the family. Uh, a lot of people, our family doesn't take her serious when it comes to her business ventures, when it comes to her visions. And she's also a designer, like she designs logo and, and all of everybody in her family never actually give her her credit for the good job that she's been doing. And she feels like she's very underrated and not appreciated professionally when it comes to her family. So what does Carmen do? Carmen steps out of that position from her family and she decides to go. She's, she and her brother, uh, who's also in the same position as her, decide to, to team up and they, and they decided to do their own wine. But the thing is, the wine didn't come out the way they wanted it to be. It didn't have enough potential to be a wine, so they decided to transform it into a sangria. So, but her brother didn't want anything to do with the sangria. So uh, Carmen decided to be like the head of the company of the, the of the sangria company, and she went to Nati to you know to help her with the marketing events because Nati in this case she's a, she's a event planner. She works with marketing. She's a businesswoman. She knows a lot a lot about this business and the industry and all of that. So they so they decided they they decided to team up and you know and at this moment Nati becomes more like a manager event planner like a whole part of the the sangria and carmen company and and so they start getting very close they start dating each other and also working together 
and after that you know uh, Carmen wanted to sell her company you know under her her family company but Nati was telling her hey don't do that you know you need to step out of your comfort zone and you need to do this you know outside your family and build something for, for you know for your for yourself so Nati got this big deal for for Carmen and in, in, in her sangria company at a company called Oasis but what happens is, is that the company and at the beginning Carmen didn't want to do it she was like I don't want to sell out, outside my family company I feel like it's a portrayal and I want to do it you know under my my family company but Nati was very persistent persistent and telling her hey you need to think bigger you need to think outside the box you need to do something for yourself so okay and at the end Car- uh, Nati actually convinced Carmen to take the meeting and when they got the meeting uh, Nati and the people who were, who were you know sell, who was trying to buy her her sangria actually you know convinced Carmen to to sell to, to to sell the company you know to sell the 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 sangria to them and she did and after a while she was so happy because now she she, she will be in charge of the you know uh, she will still be in charge of almost everything you know but what comes at what happens at the end of the 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 season is that Carmen found out that actually Nati told Carmen that uh, the company who's who bought her her sangria won't be won't be advertising and promoting her sangria anymore because they have their own sangria and then Carmen you know she's smart she said oh so what they, they buy my company so that they can shelf me you know so that so that my my sangria can be a competition for 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 their sangria and now Nati was telling her no she didn't know that she's also surprised by it and then Carmen was like no you knew about this this was the whole plan you guys don't want me to put my sangria out there because you guys knew that my sangria would outdo the sangria so you you make me sell my company so that I can lose everything and and Nati was like no I don't have anything to do with this and Carmen was blaming her no you knew about this this was all part of the plan and so at the end of the story they didn't end up together bad news like it always is when it comes to LGBTQ couples they don't end up together but I also feel like Nati really knew about this I'm not 100% sure but the fact that it was she was so persistent on Carmen to sell the company was just very like like she didn't want her family to be involved with it she didn't she didn't want her family even to look at the contract so I was like yes maybe she does have something to do do with it but I'm not 100 uh, 100% sure and also what happened actually Carmen told her I don't want to see you again disappear in my life and they actually broke up they ended their professional life they ended the dating life all of that and I definitely re- uh, agree with Carmen because she feel betrayed by Nati and I will also be because I feel like Nati knew about this whole plan uh, so at the end of the day that's how their relationship went they were actually a very cute couple to be honest I really like them they actually have a lot in common so uh, hopefully in season two Carmen will find herself another you know an, another lady to be with and hopefully Nati will still be in the picture you know just to see a little bit drama going on between them so yes guys if you want to watch the show I would definitely recommend you to go watch it's a very good show and yes guys that's basically please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for all the support